guys, Mike here. So today we got this house slab we're doing, about a 35 yard slab. We got concrete mixing up right now, it's about seven in the morning. We're gonna talk about when you start finishing concrete today. So we'll keep track of the time after we get it poured, and then we'll talk about, you know, when's the best time to start. We got two finishes going on. We got a power trial finish back here, and then up front on this piece, this is a broom finish. So we got two different finishes going on, so that should help you out trying to figure out when to start finishing. All right, so we got it all poured, as you can see. Concrete driver's just washing out. It's about 8.30 right now, 8.30 in the morning. And as you can see, if you can, if you can see this right here, look, see how wet that is? All right, as you can see, that's a little too wet to start finishing, see that? See, look, if I push my finger down, I can push my finger right down in there. So again, we just got done pouring. So we gotta let this thing dry up a little bit before we start putting a finish on it. And I'll fix that right there. We gotta let some of this bleed water dry up. Can you see the bleed water on there? So what happens is once we get the, the concrete screeded and bull floated, the aggregate, the stone in the concrete starts to settle a little bit. When it settles, it pushes that mixing water up to the surface. So that's what, that's what that bleed water comes from, is that mixing water getting pushed up to the surface just from gravity, the gravity of the, the aggregate sinking in the, in the concrete, and that's pretty normal. So we'll give this, we'll give it about 30 minutes, then we'll come back and check it, and we'll see how it's, how it's firming up from there. Okay, so it's about 9.15 now. It's been 45 minutes since we checked it the last time. I can tell just by looking at it, it's not ready. There's, there's still a lot of bleed water on it. We gotta wait for that bleed water to dry up before we start finishing. We don't wanna finish the bleed water into the surface of the concrete because it'll weaken the surface of the concrete and we'll end up with uh, you know, a bunch of cracks that we don't want. So we gotta wait for that bleed water to dry up. If we have to, sometimes we have to squeegee the water off to get rid of it, but we're hoping it's gonna dry up today. But we can check it again real quick by sticking our fingers in it, so. Let's take a look. See that? So it's still really, really soft. So it's nowhere near ready. Nowhere near ready to start finishing. So it's been 45 minutes since we got done pouring. We'll give it, we'll give it another 30 to 45 minutes. We'll come back and check it again so I can let you guys know just how it's finishing. It's about 70, 75 degrees here today. It's, uh, I mean, it's a pretty nice day out, so this is pretty typical for concrete drying. And again, the, the concrete trucks had an hour to drive before they got here this morning. So they were batched out at six. We started pouring around seven. We got done pouring about 8.30, and it's about 9.15 right now. So we'll check in again in about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so it's 10 o'clock. It's been 45 minutes since we checked it last time. I can see there's still a little bit of bleed water on it, but it is drying up. Some of the spots are drying up a little bit more. But let's take a look and see just how hard the surface is actually getting. See that? So I can still press my finger down. I don't know, about a half an inch or so, 
but not down as far as I could last time. So it is getting firmer, but we still got some time before we need to start finishing this thing. So we'll give it, give it another 30 minutes and we'll see how it feels then. So it's 10.20 right now. It's just about two hours after we got done pouring. We got done pouring at 8.30 and we're just starting the finishing process. And really the only thing we're doing is just mag magging some edges. It's still a little too, too wet on the surface. Most of the bleed water is drying up, but it's still leaving it a little bit slimy on top. But we can start magging the edges at least just to help flatten them out and fill in anything. So, but before we can get on it, we're going to have to let it dry up a little bit more. <clears throat> Alright, so it's 10.30. It's two hours. Exactly two hours after we got done pouring. And we're just starting the finishing process. So, you can see we're putting an edge on this front piece. This front piece, you can see if you see that string right there. So this front piece slopes an inch and a half this way. And that's that's like a that's like a covered patio area screened in patio area so that's really not part of the house the house goes from the string over so that part will be built this part will be just like a screened in porch it's gonna have a room finish that's gonna have a power trowel finish so the finishing process is just starting here we are two hours after the pour You can see if I press my fingers in there now, I'm only going down about a quarter to three eighths. So we're getting real close. Two hours after the pour, when we're going to start finishing. What I'm going to do with this part here is I'm going to get on it with my skids, and I'm going to mag it out real nice, and then we're going to put a broom finish on it. Hey guys, if you want more detailed finishing, learning how to finish concrete and the complete finishing process for this house slab and this broom finished patio then check out my link to the concrete underground below just click the show more tab in, in the description below and then click on the concrete link to the concrete underground and you'll see more information down there guys thanks but we got the we got the patio here all magged out first we're going to give it about five minutes and we're going to mag it again just so it gets a little bit firmer and it gets a little bit finer broom finish on it Come on. and then we'll pull the broom across it and then that piece will be done and all we got to worry about is just finishing the house so it's about 10 45 you can see Luke's walking on it now, so two hours, 15 minutes after we got done pouring. Just firm enough to walk on. He's, you know, he's sinking in about an eighth of an inch, roughly. That's just about where you want it when you start floating it. So we got the power trowel hanging right there, ready to go. And we're going to get on this pretty soon. He's just magging out his edges. We're using the MBW trowel today. We got our float blades on it. You can see these blades right here. We slide them. We slide them on over the finish blades. These are the finish blades right here. These are the float blades. So we're going to hit it with the float blades first. Then we'll kick those float blades off. Then we'll use the finish blades for all the other passes after that. All right, so it's 11 o'clock. Two and a half hours, exactly two and a half hours after we got done pouring is when we're first starting the power trowel. So it's just firm enough to start the power trowel. That gives you an idea. It's about 75 degrees out now, sunny. Pretty warm day out. We used a 4,000 PSI concrete today for this slab. Started pouring at 7 in the morning, got done about 8.30. And now it's about 11 o'clock and we're just starting a power trial. You can see Luke's on the lay down blades now, so he, he got it all floated. And then it's drying so fast, he kicked the boat blades off and he went right to lay down. So this thing, now that it's started to dry, it's drying really, really fast. So you gotta stay right on it. OK, 
Okay, it's now 12 o'clock. It's noon time. Do you remember he got on this started power trolling at about 11 o'clock? This is the fourth time he's gone over it, and it's just about done. It's what we call right over here. We call that kind of blackened, shining out. That's done. So he's got just a couple other areas he might have to hit again for a fifth time, real quick. But it's pretty much done. So we got done. Remember, we got done pouring the slab at 8.30. We started finishing right around 10.30 by hand a little bit. Got this broom finish thing done. And we didn't put the power trowel on it till about 11 o'clock. And at 12 o'clock, in one hour, it's all done. It's all power trowel. So it dries. Once it starts drying, it goes really fast. So you really got to know what you're doing. You got to be prepared. That's where experience comes in. But hopefully this video will help you out a little bit with the timing, teach you a little bit about how fast this stuff dries, when to start. All right, so it's 12.40. If you remember, we started power trialing at 11 o'clock. We got done pouring the concrete at 8.30. So about four hours later here, we're sawing it. That's how fast this stuff dries in the summer. So, you know, if you're thinking of doing this yourself, you got to really be prepared. you got to know what you're doing. And we always saw our expansion joints in the same day. That's why we got that saw. That's a special saw for doing it green. You can saw them in the next day. You know, I'd do it early the next morning if I was sawing them the next day. But we have that soft cut saw we do. We saw them in the same day. That's why we have the saw. But it's hard enough to saw. You can see we got all the forms stripped off already. This has styrofoam all the way around it and under it. So by the time, from the time we got done pouring, 8.30 until we're cutting and sawing, it, it was only about four hours. That's how fast this stuff dries. Hey guys, again, so if you want to learn how to finish concrete like we do, then come join me in the Concrete Underground. It's my private training site, membership site, where I coach you on how to, how to finish concrete, how to pour concrete, and how to run a concrete business. Click the Show More tab below the video, then click on the link to the Concrete Underground, and I'll see you in there. Thanks.